How's it going guys? It's Reed Junkies here and in today's video we're going to talk about some of the new features that come with the Galaxy Note 7 S Pen. So go ahead and click mine out here. And uh, if you want to know how to do that, it's really kind of cool. You can actually change and edit your sound for putting your S Pen in and out. Oh yeah. So, okay, so let's go over some of the basic features here for the S Pen. Um, so you have obviously create a note, which is obviously pretty self-explanatory. You know, you can write yourself a note, you know, say Tom something, yada, 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 hit save. There's a lot you can do in here with the S Pen on the screen. Also, you have your little button here on the side. And when you hold that over the screen, it opens up your actions here, all the different applications you can launch. Um, you can hit it again and it'll close it. So I'm just going to back out of this one and uh, discard it, but you can save it. Hit that little button again. So there's two ways to launch it. You can either tap the button anywhere on the screen or you can tap the icon. Either one will do the same thing to launch the S Pen features. So let's go ahead and see some other ones here. So we have Smart Select, which is kind of cool. So you can actually just select a piece of the screen and there you go. And now you can share or save it or do all kinds of stuff with it, draw on it maybe if you want. You know, we could actually draw something in here, Tom again. So, you know, it's cool. So you have Smart Selects, that's obviously a feature we can use. Again, I'll discard and go ahead and bop out of that. And then we come in here and oh, if, you wanna, if you wanna close it, you gotta hit back. One of the other things you can do is Smart Select is pretty cool. Let me actually show it to you. So basically if we go into, you know, something like YouTube, for example, and maybe we actually click on this video right here. All Sorry right, guys, so this is a video I just created. Now we can do a smart select and do GIF. So now you can bring your GIF up here and we can record a GIF of this video. So that's pretty stinking cool. So let me go ahead and stop that. And there you go, there is the GIF. And now you can share, you can draw on it, you can save it. Um, yeah, pretty neat. I'm really liking the GIF feature, that's really cool. You can also resize that GIF to make it full screen, whatever you wanna do. Um, that's pretty neat. So Smart Select with GIFs is gotta be one of my favorite features here on uh, this device. There you go. And then we'll come here and then we have a uh, screen right, which is nice, so it takes a screenshot and then brings it right up so you can, you know, maybe you want to circle something. Oh, it's in blue, so let's actually circle this up here. You know, and then you want to share it, undo, erase. You know, you can change all your stylus things. You know, all that functionality is right there. Come in here and change your tips. And so, you know, the standard things for any kind of a writing utensil. Um, and then we also have some other things with, with, with uh, screen capture. It's kind of cool. So let's actually, let's just back out of this one. I'll discard again. And let's go into the device settings. And let's go ahead and do a screen capture here. And this is a feature that's been in here for the Note 5 as well. So then you can come down here, you can say scroll capture. And it scrolls up the screen and captures again. And so what that leaves you with is a really, really long, if I get off drawing, let's erase that. Uh, we can, I think we can scroll, there we go. Really, really long screen capture which is just really awesome. So if you want to capture a conversation in a thread, any of those things, you can go ahead and do that. All right, again, we'll discard that one. So let's go back in here and see what else we have. So the other thing you have is translate, which is really cool. Translate allows you to translate things from like Spanish to English. And all you got to do is hold your S Pen over the words. See, you can see it uses Google Translate. Isn't that cool? So, I mean, obviously, let's, let's, go, let's go this way now. Let's see if I can do it. Let's go English to hmm, what other language do I want to use? We could do Espanol. So then if you hover it over here, well, Google does the same, but say. So, do you see it? So say, and then, and then I think you can actually, let's see. You can actually tap that. Say. Say. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So it's pretty neat um, for translation. It's really pretty neat. 
And then at a glance, this is kind of interesting. So you have to have an application open. So let's say we want to open up, oh, I don't know. Let me find an application to open up. Let's, let's just do it with calculator for the sake of it. So you have this typed in, for example. You come over here, you select at a glance, and the calculator then goes down here to the bottom. So now you can continue doing whatever you're doing, and you're like, oh, I need to know that number I calculated. And you can actually just hold it. You don't even have to tap it. Just hold it. There's the, there it is. Move away. It goes back to whatever you're doing. You know, whatever screen you're in. Oh, yeah, I want to look at that number. Oh, yeah, 96,000. Okay, cool. And, you know, maybe you want to type that in somewhere. So uh, it's pretty neat. I like it. It, it makes sense. Um, you, then when you're done, you can just remove it, and you're not at a glancing anything anymore. Um, so besides that, you can obviously add an application. You can come in here. And the other one that, that they really recommend for this is this one right here. So that's the magnifier, and I'll show you that one too. It really doesn't do that much. Basically, it magnifies whatever you're looking at. Whatever you hover your pen over, it makes it larger. Uh, and then you can adjust the magnification here, you know, up or down, depending on what you're trying to do. So, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. Not something I would use, but maybe an older person might want to use that feature. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close it. And then we're going to go into settings here. And in settings, basically, again, you can pick your shortcuts. Your floating icon, which is this thing, you can uh, turn that on or off. Um, I, I think I leave it off because I mean you can launch it everything again by just hitting the button on, on, on the S Pen. So to me, it's kind of a wasted icon. It's not really important about it. Um, hovering information, and again, right here, you can go back to the applications. So we can re remove the magnification. You can add an actual app if you would like to do that. You know, whatever app. I'm going to actually add this one because this one's wicked cool. And let me show you that application. Um, this does not come with the phone. This is something you download from the App Store, and it's called S Pen Toolbox. And this is actually how I went ahead and set it up to make the sound effects like this one. Uh, or this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a Star Wars fan. Oh, that's what a joke. Come on. You know I am. All right. So we're going to come in here. And basically, it does a lot of things. But the reason I did it is because I want the sound effects. So basically, you can come in here and you can you can say S Pen Detach. So on Detach, do what? Well, I went ahead and I downloaded from Zedge application the notification for the lightsaber sound. Lightsaber on. And then I came down here and lightsaber off. Downloaded that notification. So now I have lightsaber on and off when I put my S Pen in and out. I love it. You can do other things in here as well as getting more launching icons, and there's some other modifications you can use with the S Pen toolbox, but I just love it for the sound effect. So definitely check that out if you guys are interested in that. But there you go. That is basically all of the features here that uh, come with the S Pen. Um, obviously, you can write and draw on things, yeah, edit it does quite a bit, but those are the main ones that when you launch the applications that are included. Hope you guys like the video here on this. I'm going to do some video on some of the security features next and maybe some other things. If there's anything you'd like to see covered on the Note 7, please uh, give me a comment in the video description down below. i love to shoot some videos for you guys. And uh, that's about it. Stay tuned for those videos, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.